I often said I wish that I could be a cat up in the sky and ride upon the breeze and go whichever way I chance to blow. Let's know the summary of this poem. In this poem, the child wishes to become a kite. He wishes to fly in the air and to flow in a breeze anywhere he wants to. I'm a little turtle, I crawl so slow. I carry my house wherever I go. When I get tired, I put in my head, my legs and my tail, and I go to bed. Let's know the summary of this poem. This poem is about a little turtle. He moves very slow. He carries his home. That is his back, which is a shell. Wherever he goes, when he gets time, he uses his shell as a bed and sleeps inside it. It is hot, the sky is blue, a little cloud comes looking for you. More clouds come, they bring rain, sing and dance, it's good again. Let's know the summary of this poem. This poem describes about a hot day. The sky is looking blue. Everybody is waiting for rain. Then there are some clouds seen in the sky. And it starts raining. So children become very happy and they sing and dance. Let's know the summary of this poem. This is a poem about a flying man. This man can fly in the sky. One child asked him where he is going and asked flying man to take him over the mountain and the sea. I wonder if my twine will be as good as this. I wonder if they'll like me or just be full of stairs I wonder if my teacher will look like mom or grand I wonder if my puppy will wonder where I am Let's know the summary of the spoon In the spoon the child is going to school and he is thinking about many things He thinks about his classmates teachers and also about his puppy If I were a butterfly I could be thankful for my wings If I were a bird in a tree I would be thankful that I could sing If I were a fish in the sea I would be thankful that I can wriggle and kick a bit free I just think I'm lucky to be me, not you but me. If I were an elephant, I would be thankful that I can raise my trunk. If I were a kangaroo, I would try to hop right up to the moon. If I were an octopus, I would be thankful for my eight arms. So I just think I'm lucky to be me, not you but me. What do you think you want to be? 
Do you want to be like me? Or just you, just you? Let's know the summary of this poem. This poem is about the feelings of a young girl. The young girl thinks if she were any other creature like a butterfly, myna, fish, elephant, kangaroo or octopus, she would be happy and thankful to God for everything she had in her life. But in the end of the poem, she thinks she is lucky for what she is. She also asks questions to the readers if they are happy and satisfied with what they had in her life and if they feel themselves lucky. A smile is quite a funny thing, it wrinkles up your face. And when it's gone, you'll never find its secret starting place. But far more wonderful it is to see what smiles can do. You smile at one, he smile at you, and someone smile makes two. Let's know the summary of the spoon. The spoon talks about a smile. A smile brings small wrinkles on the face. But nobody knows where it hides itself. The essential feature of smile is that if one smiles, then the other smiles too. And one smile creates many smiles together. The rain is raining all around. It falls on fields and trees. It rains on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. Let's know the summary of this poem. The storm is all about a rainy day. The rain is falling everywhere. It is falling on fields and trees. It is falling on the umbrellas and also falling on the ships sailing in the sea. For more educational videos, subscribe to Catrick Kids TV.